Hello everyone out there and welcome back to the channel. It's Coldfire here and today I'm going to be reacting to the angelic Olivia Newton-John, If Not For You, 1971. This is um, from her first album and I found a live performance of it. I just hope it doesn't get blocked. If you, if you guys are out there and you see... Um, Sometimes they block the video completely and then sometimes they'll let it play for 30 days until the Because if I put it up under dispute if it gets blocked and then they have 30 days um, If they don't respond then luckily for me it gets to stay up but it, After 30 days if it no longer shows up that means that the dispute was rejected so and I've noticed that ABBA, Madonna, The Carpenters, Barbra Streisand, um, there's a few other ones that they automatically get blocked. I can put it in the dispute and then within three minutes it just says dispute rejected. When there are other artists out there like Madonna, um, Patsy Cline, some of the other ones they run the full 30 days and with it or not quite the full 30 days but I have seen them run 30 days and it said your dispute wasn't reviewed after 30 days so it's automatically released and then it's completely on the channel forever but sometimes it could be 10 days sometimes it could be 20 days sometimes it could be a day sometimes it could be 10 minutes so at least I'm going to react to this one today and let's hear the beautiful, but not forgotten, Olivia Newton-John. She was such a big influence on me growing up.
telling my YouTube goes crazy. That was a remarkable performance by Olivia Newton John. Um, the song is is it's not if not for you. Um, it says 1971. Um, that was the year that the her first album was released, and I know that she did a few performances to promote the album, and she was just getting a start in music, and I saw that on the very first one, she was very, um, the other song I reacted to from the album, um, she was very serene, she seemed a little nervous, I don't know if it was nervousness or just She's she's always seemed like she's shy, but she isn't. It's just her manners. Um, she was like Karen Carpenter. Um, she was never one to boast about her vocal c capabilities. Um, but I love how she done this song because she started doing a little bit of dancing in it. I think she's feeling more comfortable in the, you know... Um, with the crowds now um, because you got to admit whenever you first make a record and you're getting out there to promote that first record and you're a little I mean who would not be you know stage fright or wondering if there's anything going to happen during the song or anything but she just takes it with ease and she has a little bit of fun with it and there's nothing wrong with that I mean, she doesn't go crazy in anything, but it was just, it was the 70s. It was, um, it was expected, um, you know, for most female vocalists to, you know, sing a song, but not go too crazy with it. Um, that was like greatness in its great, uh, times, you know, and... Olivia was just getting started, and I just wonder if she knew what was in store for her for the future, you know. Because, let's see, I don't remember when Grease was made. Honestly, I don't. I think it was the late 70s or the early 80s. I don't know. But, um, I know that whenever she was in Greece, the God Almighty, she was so good. Ugh. Especially at the end when she comes in that all that leather and she's got the she's got the perm in her hair and she's got the cigarette that she doesn't smoke and she kicks it to the ground and she says, Tell me about it, stud. Oh, so iconic. That part of the movie was so iconic that everyone blew up about it. And their collaboration, her and John Travolta. But anyways, but this 1971 um so it was probably maybe 10 years of her recording songs she went from you know kind of folk she did some country she did some pop she actually did some dance like um physical and um but we haven't gotten to that yet even though i did react to those songs earlier but I wanted to go back and do a deep dive into Olivia's career because I think it's deserving to go back and pay homage to Olivia Newton-John um, because I'm tr I always try not to cry whenever I see her on a performance like this and I'm so glad that she was kind of dancing and having fun because it took away the distraction. Um, because I miss her so dearly. I mean, she was taken way too soon, as so many artists are. Um, we've lost so many great singers so early. And she, like, like I said, there's only one word that I can describe her as an artist. Putting the beauty aside that she had, the stage presence she had, the vocal capabilities that she had. I just have just one word to describe her. And it's angelic. And angelic doesn't just mean one thing. Angelic means that you sing so beautiful like an angel. You look like an angel. 
and everything about you is angelic means it it just sounds pure it's from the heart she sings with emotion and there's just something about her voice that every time I hear her song it's just pleasant for the ear and there's songs out there that I like that are not necessarily pleasant for the ear but they're motivational or they're something else. But when I listen to Olivia Newton-John's song, I just feel like like a kid would be with a lullaby. I just feel like she's singing from her heart to my heart. And there's very few artists that can do that. But I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful um song by Olivia Newton-John, if not from you, from 1971. And it's only going to get better as we travel down her timeline. So be on the lookout for her next reaction. And I love you guys out there. I wish you peace, love, and happiness. Hope everyone is doing well. And I will see you on the next reaction. Love you. Mm.